we want to see some in inclusivity. So like, why not include girls? Girls should know how to code, game, and do more. With women historically underrepresented in science, technology, engineering, and maths fields, programs like Girls Who Game are aiming to change the game by encouraging young girls to improve their leadership and tech skills. And what we do across Canada and the U.S. is provide schools with the opportunity to really improve the digital literacy skills of young women because we know the stats. 50% of women are in the workforce and yet only 28% are in STEM-related fields. At a Women's Day celebration, students from grade 3 to 8 who participated in the collaborative program between Dell, Microsoft and Intel showed off projects about how to make their schools more sustainable created with the video game Minecraft. Craft. So they think that they are playing video games, but meanwhile, we're doing research with them, inquiry, teaching them mechanics and other digital literacy skills. An expert says the reason such programs are necessary is partly because of the messaging surrounding STEM fields. We often suggest that, you know, if you're interested in math, you must be nerdy. You have to defy your femininity. You can't be a girly and like math and like robotics. And in fact, you can do all of those things. Boys are kind of expected to go into those fields but when girls do it it's abnormal and I think it's really important that we always start from the position of there's no inherent stem ability there's nothing genetic about it there's no math gene or anything like that some of the girls might be scared because like um, like a lot of boys do this instead and they, they might not feel comfortable we need to show girls what's possible for them and that's done through showing them who is currently in the field and the trailblazers whose shoulders we stand on one of those trailblazers is the country leader of Dell Canada who agrees that representation and opportunity is key. I think a lot of women and young women, including myself, we feel um, sometimes that we don't get exposed. We feel a lack of confidence often. I know I did myself growing up and so having this exposure really, really helps to um, give the girls the, the, the confidence. Along with STEM programs aimed at women and girls, Dr. Ko says boys and men need to be brought into the conversation as allies. We want the confidence building, we want the skills development, we want the safe places to fail, but we also want the organizational change. We want the accountability. We want the male leaders in tech to step up. What are you doing to help your young men learn what it means to create an inclusive um, culture? So we need to put a lot more effort over into this other side and, and really marry these two parts together to create you know, a, a much more holistic approach. Dilshad Berman, City News.